Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I thank you for tuning in today, as I am looking to bring forward another exciting episode, episode number two, of Creatures, Beasts, and Fiends. In today's episode, I am going to be discussing the cryptid known in North America in the northern states as the Beast of Bray Road. Now this creature here is somewhat of a werewolf kind of creature that has legends going back to the early 1900s. Stay tuned, and uh, let's get into this, and as always, stay creepy. In the last episode of Creatures, Beasts, and Fiends, we discussed alien big cats, so let's go from the whole notion of large cats to large dog-like creatures here. Now, the Beast of Bray Road is described itself as being a hairy humanoid with canine-like features, so very much like a wolfman of sorts. Labeled as a werewolf in local folklore, many cryptozoologists label it as a Bigfoot-style creature because lending it the whole idea of being a werewolf would open up a whole can of worms in regards to classifications and... Uh, that's just an argument that a lot of the professional cryptozoologists are not willing to have. The Beast of Bray Road counts as the most famous of modern American werewolves, however. Also known by locals as Man-Wolf, Bear-Wolf, and even Indigenous Dogman. It is described as standing around six feet tall with gray and brown fur. Its face, when it was seen, resembles that of a wolf with shiny yellow eyes and pointed ears. Its body, although it has been seen as very furry and hairy, very much like, uh, you know, a bear or a wolf or any other kind of mammalian creature that would be uh, roaming the very cold, wintry parts of the northern part of Nor North America, um, through the fur, it's been described as looking like a very muscular man. Now, throughout the years, there have been many different reported sightings of the Beast of Bray Road. Um, reports of this creature go back as far as 1936 from the research that I was able to look into it. Maybe even goes back further than that, but um, in regards to actual um, encounters and uh, descriptions from witnesses, um, the furthest back I was able to locate is 1936. Now, the first time it was seen, 1936, as the um, first reported sighting that I was able to find, it was seen on the rural roads outside of Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Now, more recent sightings have been reported in the 1980s and the 1990s, uh, mainly also in the Wisconsin area, um, ranging in the Racine, Walworth, and Jefferson counties. Those who have encountered this beast have um, mainly seen it when it was scavenging or eating. Um, Really, there has been no evidence of it being an aggressive creature. However, you know, personally, if I were to see a giant man-wolf out in the middle of nowhere, I would probably be freaked out and um, think that it was going to be aggressive. But even though it has been seen those multiple times, um, it has never actually attacked anyone. Some witnesses have claimed that it has acted aggressively, running at them, or jumping on their vehicles, probably more of as a defensive mechanism so that it's able to frighten the um, witness and is able to make a clean getaway. Now, in modern times, there have been a couple of movies that have been made about this creature, as well as a uh, well-documented book that was written by a very renowned journalist in the late 1900s. I think it was in the late 80s, early 90s that this book was written. Um, if I find more information on that, I'll be sure to include a screen grab of it over on the side over here, so that way, um, if anyone's interested in reading more into um, eyewitness accounts of it, then um, more than welcome to. 
Now, for explanations, it's theorized that the werewolf-like characteristics are due to mistaken observations, due to panic, causing an exaggeration of the creature's true features. Now, we know, wolves do range in size. Granted, I've never seen one that was, you know, a human size, but, you know, weirder things have happened. Um, for those that do believe that the Beast of Bray Road is something out of the ordinary, but not as radical as a werewolf, it is thought to be a relative of a Bigfoot or a bear dog. Um, the last main explanation that could be used for the Beast of Bray Road is that it is at least two different creatures that were being seen in the same area at the same time. And these creatures ended up getting placed under the same label, even though they should be studied separately. What that means in layman's terms, that is a whole bunch of jargon for um, confusion so much. Two different creatures that were seen that the mind kind of put them together and made up this whole ideal of this werewolf-like creature in the Wisconsin area. Now, most skeptics believe that, you know, all these sightings over the years from the 30s up until the 90s uh, were merely just a wild dog or a costumed prank, uh, prankster. Now, what do you believe? Do you believe that there is the existence of a wolfman-like creature that is, or was, roaming the rural areas of Wisconsin? Would you go looking for the Beast of Bray Road? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Creatures, Beasts, and Fiends. Again, in this episode, we discussed the cryptid known as the Beast of Bray Road. Please bear with me as I continue developing on these series. Um, I am working at some um, different struggles that I am trying to iron out in regards to um, content and editing and things of that nature, but I assure you that more interesting things are to follow. And if you would please, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that heart button to like it, and leave a comment what you think about the Beast of Bray Road and what cryptids you would like me to explore in future episodes. All episodes of Creatures, Beasts, and Fiends will be released on Wednesdays and on Sundays, so stay tuned. The next episode will be coming out Sunday.